Hey, this is Chip. Soft wash solutions, Clinton, Indiana. I pretty much spent the winter building this new soft wash trailer. So I kind of want to show it off, explain some of the features without giving away too many of my secrets. Uh, just kind of give people a general idea of what a professional soft wash company does, the equipment that they use, and how it's different um, from those who just use a store bought power washer. And uh, so I guess I'll turn the camera around and just kind of give you a, a little bit of view of what I've been working on. So with this trailer, it has a 12 volt system and it also has a 115 volt system. I've got two 12 volt batteries up front here. They're wired in series, or excuse me, they're wired in parallel. They're hooked to a battery tender. On the outside I've got an RV outlet where I can plug in 110 volt and I can charge these two batteries with this tender. Uh, I've still got some cleanup work to do. I've still got a few things to install, close up the wires. Down here is 115 volt GFI. That's where the when you plug in outside it comes into here so I have GFI protection. Um, these batteries are also hooked to a third battery that's in the back of the trailer. And I'll show you that here in just a few minutes. The hose reels, the green one on the bottom down here, this is the supply hose. It goes out, hooks up to a water source, and it brings water into my trailer. When it comes into the trailer, it goes through a filtering system here, up to a header, and then out of the header it goes in different directions. I've got one that comes down into my 225 uh, gallon water tank. I've got another one that comes across the ceiling and comes down and goes outside. So I have a hose spigot out on the outside of the trailer for either washing down or mixing chemicals. Um, then I have another one that goes to the back of the trailer and that feeds a four gallon machine in the back, which I'll show to you here in just a few minutes. On this wall over here is a 12 volt system. Um, these are 12 volt pumps. The one in the back is a supply pump, or excuse me, a transfer pump. Uh, I've got a 55 gallon bulk chemical tank here. My cleaning solution, uh, one of the ingredients that I use in mixing my own solution, comes in bulk. So I store it in a 55 gallon tank. And then I use a transfer pump. And I can bring it over and it comes down into my soap tank. This is where I mix everything together, and this is the soap that I actually apply to either house, concrete, or whatever it is that I'm cleaning. I've also got this set up with water lines so that with just a twist of a few valves, I can run water through my pumps and flush it, and the water gets pumped back into my bulk tank. This 12 volt pump here is just a small pump using, uh, if I need to fill a small container, five gallon bucket, um, I can use this one basically just to get small quantities to the outside of the trailer if need be for additional cleaning. The switch box here, these are all the different switches that will run the different pumps. And I've got one here, I've got a light that is inside of my bulk tank, my water tank. That way from a distance I can keep the light on from a distance. I can see the water level in here a lot easier with the light on. On the uh, soap tank down at the bottom, once I mix all my ingredients, it comes out of the soap tank. And these are chemical injectors that I have on the side of each of my reels. This bottom reel is for the four gallon machine in the back. The top reel is for the eight gallon machine in the back. And then this hose reel will be for my fleet washing, which is a new service that I'm adding this year. Uh, semis, triaxles, tandems. Uh, can be even used for simple car washing, truck washing. The chemicals that you use here versus the soaps that you use on the house are different. So I put in this separate reel and it'll be nothing for, it, it'll just be specific for the fleet washing side. The chemical injectors 
Um, down here I have a remote control hooked to the 8 gallon machine. So I can turn my soap on and off from up to 350 feet away from my trailer with a push of a button on a remote control. Um, it saves me a lot of time. Obviously working by myself, I don't have to keep coming back to my trailer. Um, this is the only piece in my trailer that I did not build myself. This was built uh, from a fellow power wash uh, company out of Arkansas. Uh, so I can't take credit for this one. He built this for me. And I've got it wired into the 12 volt system. And like I said, I can turn my soap for these two reels on and off remotely. Now this one over here is a dual remote control. Uh, this will go for my fleet wash because there's two different soaps involved in a fleet wash. So I built this one. It's a double remote control injector. And again, for up to 350 feet away, I can turn soap one on and off. I can turn soap two on and off, all with a remote, and I don't have to come back to my trailer. And again, this one's hooked up. It runs overhead, and it runs over to this hose reel over here. One other nice thing that I have in here is I have a heater, propane heater with two 20, 220 pound bottles outside. This has a thermostat, will kick on and off. That's the reason why I've got my 12 volt fan up there in the, in the corner running. It's in front of a vent, it's what's bringing in fresh air, but it's also circulating the heat. I can keep this on if I want to keep my equipment from freezing. It's kind of nice addition. Uh, the lighting overhead, I have 215 volt LED lights. But I've also got two 12 volt lights. So if I happen to be out in a situation where I can't get power to it, I can run my lights. And that's what this switch down over here is. I can simply switch it and turn on my 12 volt lights for my trailer. So it's got some pretty good features in here. There's a lot of redundancy as far as being able to charge different systems, backup systems for lighting, hose reels, etc. Um, this particular tank on the top, this is an antifreeze tank. Due to the cold weather here in Indiana, um, at the end of each day if I'm out washing, I need to winterize my equipment so that my pumps won't freeze. And I'll show you how that works in a minute, but that's just an antifreeze tank. I use RV, RV antifreeze to run through my pumps. Moving around to the back side. This is the back side of the trailer. These are the two different machines. I got a four gallon machine on the left. This is the new eight gallon machine. Electric start. Has a remote fuel tank. But it also has its own charging system. This is the third battery. Uh, that's used to start the machine, but it's hooked to the two in the front. So when this machine's running, it can actually charge all three batteries at the same time. The 225 gallon tank um, is used to supply the 8 gallon machine on the water source that I have up coming off the header. This is the one that comes back through the filter and it feeds the 4 gallon machine. I've got it set up to where it can run on a hose supply by itself or I can feed it off of the buffer tank if need be sometimes in low pressure situations uh, I need a buffer tank to feed it 8 gallon machine feeds off the buffer tank which is my water system down here each has isolation valves on it so that I can turn each machine on and off or I can take a machine out of service this is the valve for the antifreeze system Basically it comes down, comes into my water header so that I can easily shut the tank off back there. I can open the antifreeze valve and it will feed my water header and I can actually run the antifreeze through the pumps. When I want to start washing, I can open the valve back up here, shut the antifreeze valve off, pump out the antifreeze and then be ready to start washing. So this is kind of the setup that I have. All my uh, water bottles and cleaning solutions and stuff and the hand bottles 
is this rack over here, which is basically just a PVC 5x5 five five post. And I drilled 4 inch, using a 4 inch hole saw. Put these on the wall, and they work perfect for holding water bottles. I'll put another one down here with probably a 3 inch hole saw, which fit good for small cans of uh, lubricants, WD-40, different things. You know, that'll go down here, and it'll keep everything nice, tidy, and not bouncing around when you're going down the road. So, this is obviously a professional setup. It's used for soft washing, which is low pressure washing. There's a lot more to this business than buying a power washer at the store and put it in your back of your truck. Um, hopefully this kind of shows you the professional side of the business. And I'm expecting a busy year this year, so hopefully before long we'll be able to put this in service. Free estimates, you can get a hold of me. Uh, Chip Howard, Soft Wash Solutions, 812-208-8221. Be happy to come out and give you a free estimate.